The sciences don't always get the same praise as their non-science counterparts, but Drew's RISE program, or the Research Institute for Scientists Emeriti, simply can't be ignored. A lot of camaraderie. And John Kettenring is the director of RISE and says it's a program unique to Drew. There's no other program like it in the U.S. In fact, we're not aware of any such program around the world. The RISE program allows research scientists who have retired from their industry job to come to Drew and perform research with science students. For example, we have students here that work with us on research on uh, uh, neuroscience, particularly Alzheimer's disease, which is a particular interest here at Drew. Vince Gallo is a chemist and spent his career in pharmaceuticals. He came to Drew in 2007 and says this was a natural fit. They supplied me with a laboratory and, and young and energetic students who like to do science. And so uh, I thought it would be great to come here and work, work here at Drew. Gallo says this program not only lets him continue his research, but gives him a chance to show students the ropes of the lab. Part of your college education is to choose a career path. And working with people who, like ourselves who have been in industry, you get a feel for what that would be like, and you get a feel for working in the laboratory. Gallo and junior Christian Maggio are studying antibiotic-resistant bacteria like MRSA and trying to find new ways to treat those infections. Maggio says the experience has been invaluable. I find it very like, exhilarating and I've learned a lot and it's helped me in some of my courses as well, like my microbiology course, immunology course, and organic chemistry. It all helped me so far. And it will continue to help him. The program is heading into its 30th year and many of the students have gone on to prestigious graduate schools in their chosen fields. For Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.